I will just make a tutorial about um, these keyboard shortcuts. We've made variety keyboard shortcuts and they're in the system settings. Shortcuts, custom shortcuts. We've made a folder Eric and inside we've made one, two, three, four, five keyboard shortcuts, right? Now, this video is about exporting it and importing it. So you want to have this complete batch or group and we want to export group. So we're going to export group, actual state or enabled. Enabled means this blue thing here. And, and then okay, in file name, allow merging, is that interesting? That is if you can merge something in here as well. I don't think that would be interesting. So file name, well, um, let's call it variety for now, but it could, you choose a name, right? It's not important. But save it somewhere. Let's use the desktop. So you see, it's going to be something hotkeys. So a variety hotkeys, right? And then OK. And there it is. We have here a variety. Let's open this thing. So if we click on it, double click, then Kate comes up and Kate gives us information, lots of strange data. And you see some of the elements you see, okay, variety minus T, type command URL, and actions, conditions, and triggers, and here's a shortcut, and then the special things come up, like this UED and this particular nasty uh, code. So this is the code you need and keep safe somewhere on the cloud. So I'm going to delete this one, apply. And everything is now not working anymore. Alt N, Alt N, nothing, Alt P, nothing. So it's not working anymore. So what I need to do after a clean installation is get this from the net or an external hard drive or some, somewhere, right? And then import it again. So edit, import, desktop, variety, all files, okay, open. This action file has no import ID field and therefore can be determined whether or not it has been imported already. Okay, sure, we know it's not imported already. Continue. It's again uh, inside. It's also enabled because of my choice later on of earlier on. And then it's applied as you see. Alt next should do the trick. It's not doing the trick. So I suppose we really need to uh, log out and log in i hope not apply alt next no it's just deactivate and activate again the p works that's the previous one next one next one what is this actually oh watch alt t don't like it alt t trash works alt t trash works alt t trash works alt t trash works alt p so everything is back to normal and this is super power of course now you can make as many keyboard shortcuts as you like because you can save it and import it again all right have fun